If you go and seek answer from Satan, the answer I gave you is not the only thing he gave you. He first gave you his spirit. Problem. Ah, my God. My God. There is no man who receives of a spirit that is not possessed by that spirit he receives from. When Moses encountered God, he was giving signs to go and show to the people of Israel. We did not see that scripture says he received any spirit. Yeah. But later on when the 17 were to be raised, God now told him, I will take of the spirit that is upon you. So what he received in time actually came by a spirit that was upon him. Ask your neighbor, what spirit is upon you? An answer, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Listen, have you asked your neighbor? Now, answer that neighbor and say, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Hebrews 4, 16. Hebrews chapter 3, 4. Hebrews 6. Hebrews. Hebrew. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Aha. Uh -huh. Hebrews chapter 3, 4, verse 16. Pastor, if I can't hear me, I'm from the English version. It says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy, mercy. and find grace to help us in, in our time of need. Amen. This, this year is often. You see, mercy doesn't stand on its own. Because to know mercy, you must know the throne that can grant mercy. So no man can say he has encountered mercy without encountering the authority of the one who grants mercy. So to declare that we've received mercy is to declare that we know God. Because there's no way a man can access this mercy that scripture speaks about without encountering the throne of God. So if you find a man that has encountered mercy, sir, you found a man that has encountered God. Now I don't have so much time. I don't have so much time. But you see, scriptures tells us that now therefore it means there is something that inspires this thing he wants to say. So he said, now therefore let us come boldly. Our coming boldly is a product of knowledge. If you read this, the scriptures that came before this, you will understand why he told us to come boldly. The revelation of the throne that he's telling you to approach is the revelation of an authority that before now you could not just approach anyhow. Ah, 
It's because of Yeshua, our high priest, that has passed into heaven that gives us the power to now come before that throne board. To me apeto Yesu Christo konye vosala gan fe jifo yi yi mea. Ye na mea o e tote te ri abe mea ten te va nubla ni kwa be fi o sikpe yabo. Because this was the same mercy seat that the sons of Aaron offered a strange sacrifice to and it killed them. Ah, nubla ni kwa be fi o sikpe yako ye Aaron be fi o wo vosasa manyo manyo na alo wo vosasa na be wok pam. So he says, let us come boldly before the throne of grace. Now I want to show you the graces that the mercy of God affords a believer. And I don't want to take so much time, so let's see if we can explore that for 15 minutes. So it tells you that mercy is available in a throne, and that throne is grace. Now, you don't work for grace. You don't, you cannot bribe grace. Grace is an expression of favor from an authority that is absolute. So he said, let's come boldly before that throne of grace and from that throne of grace we will receive mercy. I will together. Yes. So the same throne that once destroyed those who approached it would now pardon those who approached it because of Yeshua Mashiach. Now, see this one is is nursery I, I, I don't know whether to go very deep so we are starting from here now he now says something say when you obtain when you obtain this mercy by this mercy you are now given the opportunity to explore grace no Automatically, he said that we may obtain mercy and then find grace. I been are no any go no plan to go 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 or go man move You see, there's a protocol at work here. I said that 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 we want to live here. This part is not for confused people. Go tell ya, me le na me chaka chaka o. Because if you do not know what you seek, you will not know when you found and when you've been found. Anything you find in the spirit actually found you. <laughs> you see, the way the spiritual work, the way the spiritual world operates, is that when you go out seeking a thing, that thing knows when it's being sought after. For example, if you go out seeking wisdom, wisdom will know when you are seeking it. And then, wisdom will try to prove if you are worthy of having it. So from that passage, we discover that the protocol of the seekers has been activated. You see, even the kingdom of God has to be found. And if a man finds the kingdom of God, that man will be found by the kingdom he has found. Yeshua said, narrow is the way that leads to eternal life, but there be few that find it. 
ebe e mo vide kwa mo to na ina do fi orupia me ko am vide kwe meanwhile when scripture speaks of the broadway he didn't say fine it's everywhere aha ke bible from pokuro e mo gba jantia me ko ba ola ti o e go me na fi afi that we may obtain mercy and find abe mi akpo nu plani popo ne amenu re fe a to help in time ne ba pe de mi anti le ye yi sese o me there's on that prayer point here you see many believers died in their times of need because they didn't set your grace before those times of need you will think you are strong until a time of need comes ola be you say me me fa mo na ga ke ma ahia be ka me va dua ye mi ranya bo o senlo alo me senwo so the bible says seek the lord while he may be found bible be miti na mi apo eh call upon him when he's near while he's near e be mi you eh e le bible am eh you see the best time to see god is when you think you don't need him e yi the best time to see god the best time to seek after god is when you think you don't need him why many are destroyed is is because the time they begin to seek God is in the time of their trouble. Ah, and look at number and make the what true egg be any be na gake mo la dima le ye nyu to mo me ji o gake mo ba ro ha ha me a yo ba to ma o didi. Meanwhile, before this time of trouble, they had not established a covenant with God. Ah, but gake gake. So they become them that are sentenced to wonder in the spirit. The time of need will come to every man, both great and small. And if a man has not learned the wisdom of finding mercy, what the Bible called the short mercies of David, in the days of his need, he will begin to call upon a God that seemed to be far. Ah, one in his day of trouble he says father my and angels come he says and another in his day of trouble he says father and nothing happens one found grace no the other did not the, the other did not find grace the bible said and noah found grace in the sight of god and Noah found grace in the sight of God. Now let's let's go a little deeper. So grace gives you mercy, and by mercy you still find grace. You see, let me say one thing. From that scripture, you will discover that. There is nothing you can actually do to impress God. He shows you mercy by grace. He helps you by grace. My greatest prayer in the secret place is God show me mercy and help me. That's my greatest prayer. That is what has shot the mouth of lions against me. That is what has help me to rise in my walk you see it's good to fast and pray but a wise man will not depend on the strength of his fasting and prayer even though he does it but because if you think you can pay for spiritual things god will allow you to fast and let's see how much of your fasting can buy any small thing. Uh -huh. No, Governor, the Yaya, the Holy, the Jai, attention to talk about Akko Gomanua, Maula Tada, so that you don't do it. You are poor, Neneke, or Latin Potuemia. One comes and says, Father, I thank you. Now I fast twice a week. I'm not like this other man. And the other man says, God, I'm a sinner. Have mercy upon me. About Medeva, oh, Mau, Medak, Pepper, Machina, and Tor, Cosra, Tongue, and Kaka, 
le constructor me china un dog besia gbe america ba be oh afeto po nyonu bra no nyemeche o the one fasting is left to continue fasting amake le chinu to ma uda si be ya ne poto inu chichi to ati the one that calls upon mercy is justified ah amake e pe onu bra ni popo o to afia ne sir ka pam there is a skill by which wise men fight ah a down da 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 le ke nu nya la otoko you see if you meet a man who god raised and you ask him how did you rise if he is honest he will tell you he doesn't know no to kwa ma de ke ele suro la ya me alo nu ole jeje ne le ma upe nu me na bia na nya nya tepe to la ela to no be kwara nya me nya le ke nu ole wole to he was just walking with god depending on god and he found himself there do ke ele so kilima o le kane ma ojiko ye ba pe do ko la ya me fia may you find yourself in greatness by mercy thank you lord uh, now let's let's explore something very spiritual something that i found in grace that would also help you war in time now that we've by the grace of god obtained mercy in this conference and we found grace in the sight of god we now need to master how to receive from the grace that we found you see do you believe in god here i can't imagine because where we want to go now you must have to believe in god to be able to receive what i want to i want to ask for permission Should, can we go deep celebrate jesus <laughs> after interacting with your prophet i know he's a deep man so whether you permit me or not i will go to you <laughs> Now, this is a class for the matured in the spirit. You see, things that dominate territories are not given to novices. Ah, and go pen that territory or Jama Sonana Mateo. The Bible says, Woe to a city whose ruler is a child. Ah, open a day. A Fokugande Benyad not to Kogande and Mokeva to Amenia de V. Why you need to grow is because the things that makes for your dominion in time are not found with the children, it is found with the elders. And who can tea be Yabena tea, the Subosuba, and Yabena, and who can another pona totata alo a check back by the A. Sesoma, Oma Wena de Vio, a Metitio, your Wena. You see, the people who shape the course of their time are not people who ask God to give me, they are the people who God commits things into their hands. A Meko, Odenak, the Motona, Omena Meko, Bronabema, Nama, Onya Meko, the Nag, the Motona. There are people called custodians of the oracles of God. Amedola onya mekonye e habola o le mau kwe subo subonti. Now, if you pray to a spirit to give a thing to you, how does a spirit answer you? No dog bedana bogbode be bogwane na onwade leka bogwala dunti na odo. Can I be free to speak here? The Bible says God is spirit and they that worship him must worship in spirit and truth. So from that scripture, Yeshua showed us that God is spirit. Johannes So if you pray to God who is spirit, 
for something in time, you must understand that he will first give you spirit. Ah, ne e to gbada na ma o kenye gbogbo le yin alo asangbe amea, odura nya be nugban to gebe la so na o nya gbogbo. This is the problem of going to a shrine. If you go and seek answer from Satan, the answer I gave you is not the only thing he gave you. He first gave you his spirit. Oh my God. There is no man who receives of a spirit that is not possessed by that spirit he receives from. When Moses encountered God, he was giving signs to go and show to the people of Israel. We did not see that scripture says he received any spirit. Yeah. But later on when the 17 were to be raised, God now told him, I will take of the spirit that is upon you. Because sometimes sometimes people so what he received in time actually came by a spirit that was upon him. Ask your neighbor, what spirit is upon you? And answer, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Listen, have you asked your neighbor? Now, answer that neighbor and say, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Give the Lord some praise. If you want to receive anything from God, you must first receive His Spirit. Oh my God. The spirit is the traffic channel through which God ships things to you. Can I go down? We are going down, sir. Oh my God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you understand this, you'll be boiling inside. No, sir, no, you come here. I don't feel it. Oh, my God. You see, if you ask for more blessings, what you're actually asking for is more spirit. No, Olympia, ya yira subwa. No, the kak Olympia konye bobo ane jireji. So, <laughs> oh my God, these people, you people are scaring me. Now, me le provoke me kwa, me le pupu me kwa, me le pupu me kwa. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 So, sir, the truth is that if a man is heavily blessed by God. It's impossible for that man not to be heavily anointed by God. Ah. Because if God first gives you spirit before he gives you something in time, and we believe that if we ask more from God, we receive more of his spirit and more of those things that we ask, it then means that if you've received much from God, it means you've received much spirit from God. So how come some people are telling us that God was the one who gave them money, breakthrough and the rest, and when we look into them, we cannot find spirit? when you look at a man the first thing you design is spirit Acts chapter 19 apostle Paul found some disciples 
and he asked them, Have you received the spirit since you believe? At chapter 39, Paul of Children look for material things, and that's what they used to judge. Spiritual men look away from here, they look at spirit. If you find the spirit of God upon a man of God, even though pastor now says, okay, let's not meet in this auditorium, let's meet in the bush. If you found spirit, you will follow him there. If you are a mother and you have spirit, you will not just give your children money, you will give them the spirit you carry. How come that they say there is witches in that school and you are the one removing your children? Children that are eating your food. If you call it the one that are family, food that when you are cooking, you are speaking in tongues. Oh, oh Lord, oh Lord. <laughs> if they say that there are witches there, send your children there. Your children will initiate them with the Holy Ghost. They give them food and say, Oh, take this food, go and initiate people in school. You to give your children food. Say, Gather your friends, let them eat this food. When, when they eat this food tonight, they will see the angels of heaven. Not all do not say amen. All I come out on all over from a spiritual man is not a normal man. I got from a father, many of my killing you know. You with the Holy Ghost you carry, how come they slept on your bed and they dream bad dream? How? Look at the cock, 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 Satana is on a door a Christo to no man yalaoji. Did you hear Apostle Paul ever complain that hey, today I wake up, they were pursuing me? How? Apostle Paul ever, Apostle Paul of us by the cargo by Kutu Renga, ye mama so to tiko le noa. Sir, I read scripture, I discovered that they express more dominion than they ever spoke, than they ever spoke of demonic oppression. Is someone provoked in his spirit here? Remember, I told you that in the kingdom of God, we lay hold on things. We don't explain, we lay hold. Don't put your metonomy. The Bible says, a man of honor that knoweth it not is as a beast that perishes. Honor that is not known is honor that can never lift. Are we still together? This is why primarily the spirit of God is the spirit of the revelations of God. Can you use a car you don't know how to drive? Can you even use a car you don't know exists? If someone buys an expensive car and he doesn't tell you, do you own the car? He buys it for you, he doesn't tell you. Yeah. 
Does that mean you now own the car? Now, my dear friend, who a Bugandan officer, boom, you may turn out the commander and what away. If you can be a banana and look on me for two months, a ton of mouth of Bobo Mefana. I will show you a mystery that the Lord showed me in the room of light. My son, who are brothers of your came out of your mle, Kekelibe Huame. You see, why it's important to hear the words of God that proceeds from the throne of God by his servants. Okay. is because is it even though he's still foolish he will receive the results of wise men that's how the kingdom works. God doesn't want you to be wise. God wants you to have the word and obey it. Because if you have the word and obey it, your wisdom will now be the wisdom of the word that you obey. God doesn't want you to be strong. Just have the word of God and obey it. Your strength becomes the strength of the word of God that you forbid. Because if you try to be wise on your own, you will now become foolish. The strongest man of God on earth is the one that the word of the Lord has been given to. A pastor is as ordinary as everyone without the word of God. Ah, pastor, What you call the anointing is actually the anointing upon the word of God. When the man of God says, Thus says the Lord, that thing coming out of his mouth is power. You may be more muscular than him. But what he says carries the power of the very creator. The only thing we are looking at is who is speaking. If it's God, then forget about it. It Hello, thank you for watching the video and I hope it was a great asset to you. And I hope it was also very useful. If you haven't commented, if you haven't liked it, please do that. And for more videos, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos. God bless.